Hello everyone and welcome to Python and Visual Studio Code tutorials. In this tutorial we explain number one how to install Visual Studio Code or VS Code and Python on a Windows computer and number two how to write and execute Python code by using Visual Studio Code and Python virtual environments that is we explain how to correctly run Python code inside of a virtual environment. And here is a very important note. Whenever you can, write and execute Python code inside of a Python virtual environment. This is a suggested approach for creating discipline and clean Python projects. Okay, let's start. The first step is to install Python. Consequently, open your favorite web browser and search for Python install. Then, Click on Download Python, that is on the official Python web page. And over here, I'm going to download Python 3.13. However, if you scroll down, you will also find the older versions of Python. So let's click on Download Python and let's save it in the download folder. Then let's go to the downloads folder and then I'm going to do the right click. I'm going to run this file as an administrator and I'm going to click on Yes. Here I'm going to click on Use Admin Privileges and I will click Add Python Executable to Path and I will click on Install Now and Python should be installed. Here you need to be patient. And then after maybe approximately one minute Python will be installed. And here it is. Click on Close. Let's verify Python installation. To do that, click here and search for command prompt. Open command prompt. Let me just change the font size over here such that you can nicely see what I'm typing. And over here, simply type Python. And if Python is properly installed, you should see this. So you can, for example, run something like this, print hello world let's see and here it is this means that Python is properly installed let's exit and let's call close the command prompt good the next step is to install Visual Studio Code consequently go back to your web browser and search for Visual Studio Code click on the official web page and click on downloads for Windows and save it and then here be patient It's going to take maybe 5 to 15 seconds to download the file then let's go to the downloads folder and in the downloads folder let's start the installation file and click on accept the agreement click on next use the default settings here you have several options I usually don't like to create a desktop icon but however you can choose that and let's keep these options as they are and click on install and the installation process will start again it's going to take maybe maximum 5 to 30 seconds to download and install Visual Studio Code and here it is I'm not going to launch currently Visual Studio Code like this I will simply click on finish here it is okay let's now learn how to run Visual Studio Code there are several approaches for running Visual Studio Code. One approach is to click here and to search for Visual Studio Code and to run it. Okay, another approach is to open a command prompt. And then in the command prompt, if you want to run Visual Studio Code from this folder, you will simply type code dot or period. This period or a dot means that you want to initialize and start Visual Studio Code from this folder. So if I do this, you'll see that Visual Studio Code will start and you should click yes, I trust the authors. And here it is. Okay, let's close Visual Studio Code and let's continue. The next step is to install a Python extension for Visual Studio Code. Click on start and search for Visual Studio Code then over here, click on File, click on Preferences, and click on Extensions, and search for Python over here. And click on this first option, and click on Install. 
This extension will enable you to easily write Python code inside of Visual Studio Code. Good. Next, we will explain how to properly execute and write Python code inside of Visual Studio Code. To do that, we will create a virtual environment. First of all, close Visual Studio Code and let's open a command prompt. Then, let us navigate to the C drive and let's create a new folder. Let's call the folder test P and let's navigate to this folder. Inside of this folder, we will create a Python virtual environment. To create a Python virtual environment, you need to execute these two commands. So here's the first command. It goes like this. We are calling the Python interpreter with an option M and then we are using venv command. Venv command means that we want to create a virtual environment and let's call this virtual environment as env1. Good. Now here you need to be patient. Now if you list the content of this folder once again, you will see that there is a new folder. All the packages and everything you do will be stored inside of this folder. However, before we can actually install any package, we need to activate this virtual environment. To activate this virtual environment, we need to execute this script file. That is, look what I wrote, I wrote this. Environment 1 scripts and this folder. This is actually a relative path to the activate.path file. And here it is. Once you execute this command, you will see over here that your environment 1 is active. Now, what you can do over here, you can, for example, install packages. So, for example, if you type pip list, you will see that you only have pip package. So, let's install numpy. pip install numpy. And now numpy will be installed. And now, again, if you type pip install pip list, you will see that numpy is actually installed. Next, let's exit from this environment. To exit from the environment, simply type deactivate. And here we are. Next, let's start Visual Studio Code from this folder. And here we are. Click on yes, I trust the authors, and let's create a new file. File, new file, and let's call the file test1.py and let's save it inside of this folder and let's write something. For example, let's use the NumPy library and then let's define a matrix. For example, this matrix will look like this. One, two, three, four. And let's use a capital letter for the matrix, then Let's say that B matrix is inverse. We should use numpy dot inverse or numpy dot lean algebra dot inverse. That's the best way for inverting A. And then let's check the result. C is equal to A, or let's do this numpy dot math multiplied A comma B. This function math multiply will simply multiply the matrices and let's over here print the C matrix. The C matrix should be the, the identity matrix. Good. Next, let's save this file by pressing Ctrl S and let's execute this file. We want to execute this file from our Python virtual environment. To do that, press and hold Ctrl, Shift and P and search here Python, select interpreter good and now over here you see two options this first option is the python interpreter inside of our virtual environment and the second option is actually python that's installed on our system and this is the base environment i'm going to select our virtual environment as you can see over here and then you can simply execute this code and you can click run python file and here it is. You can see the result. 
it's obviously an identity matrix. Okay, that's all for today and thanks for watching.